Dilms tumor. It is also called as nephroblastoma. Nephro meaning kidney and blastoma meaning tumor. It is a type of childhood cancer that is seen in the kidneys. It is the most common type of the kidney cancer in children. In about 9 to 10 kidney cancers in the children are of Wilms tumor. Definition The Wilms tumor is a cancer of the kidney that begins in the womb that is linked to abnormal chromosomal and congenital renal anomalies. So this Wilms tumor is related or linked to abnormal chromosomal and congenital renal abnormalities. It covers 6-7% of all the childhood malignancies and about 80% of the children are below 5 years of age. The peak incidence of the nephroblastoma is 3-4 to four years of age. The etiology of the Wilms tumor is not clear. The cancer in this condition begins when the cell develops error in their DNA. These errors allow the cells to grow and divide uncontrollably and then to go on living when the other cells would die. The accumulation of these cells form a tumor. And in rare cases, the errors in the DNA lead to Wilms tumor are passed from parent to the child. That means hereditary conditions and in most cases, there is no known connection between the parent and the children that leads to this tumor. So rarely, the errors in DNA causes Wilms tumor in most of the cases are unknown in origin. This tumor is encapsulated but may also show metastasis to renal vein, vena cava, lymph nodes, lungs and other organs. This tumor arises from a malignant undifferentiated cluster of primordial cells which are capable of initiating the regeneration of the abnormal cells. The Wilms tumor is slightly common in left kidney. Only in about 10% of the cases, both the kidneys are involved. The prognosis is good for the Wilms tumor only before the metastasis. The clinical features. Due to the tumor, the abdominal swelling is present or the abdominal mass which is firm, non-tender and confined to one side because unilateral is common and the hematuria is present that means blood in the urine the constipation is seen fatigue and malice in the upper hypertension the weight loss the symptoms of metastasis in cases of long-standing Wilms tumor which are more commonly noticed in the lung and the manifestations Related to the compression of tumor mass, fever in cases of infections, the Wilms tumor is of 5 stages. The stage 1, if the tumor is contained within one kidney and it is completely resectable. This is the starting stage of the tumor. It is for about less than 7 cm. The stage 2 of the disease is when the tumor has grown beyond the kidney either into the nearby fatty tissue or into the blood vessels or near to the kidney. In the second stage, it can also be completely resectable. This stage is when the tumor is greater than 7 cm. Stage 3 of this disease is non-hematogenous spread but it is confined to the abdominal cavity. The stage 4 is said when the hematogenous spread goes to the lungs, liver, brain or bones or even to the lymph nodes far away from the kidney due to the process of metastasis. This is a severe stage of the Wilms tumor. In the stage 5 means when the both kidneys are involved that is the bilateral renal involvement. Most Wilms tumor are unilateral which means they affect only one kidney. And most often, there is only one tumor but a small number of children may also have more than one tumor in the same kidney. For about 5 to 10 percent of the children with this tumor have bilateral disease. The diagnosis 
can be done by the history taking, physical examination, urine analysis, liver function test and the renal function test, hematology, CT scan, MRI, abdominal ultrasonography and the kidney biopsy. Therapeutic management of the nephroblastoma is surgery with chemotherapy with or without radiation based on the histological pattern and the clinical stage. The preoperative chemotherapy is followed with the surgery. If both the kidneys are involved, preoperative chemo and the radiotherapy and the partial nephrectomy of the unaffected kidney and the total nephrectomy of the affected kidney is done. Transplantation can be also done in bilateral involvement and the post-operative chemotherapy. Coming to the prognosis, the Will's tumor often become quite large before they are noticed. The average newly found Will's tumor is many times larger than the kidney in which it started. So most of the Will's tumor are found before they are spread to the other organs. The prognosis is good because they are found before the process of the metastasis. So guys, this is all about the Will's tumor or the nephroblastoma. It has five stages and these are the clinical features. It is more common in left kidney. Most of these cases are unknown in origin and some rare cases are hereditary. If you like this lecture, do subscribe to my channel.